over the rainbow. Linda, the good witch, floats down in her bubble and lands happily in front of Dorothy. Now, I, I know we're not in Kansas. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Who, me? Why, I'm not a witch at all. I'm Dorothy Gale from Kansas. Oh, well, is that the witch? Who, Toto? Toto's my dog. Well, I'm a little muddled. The Munchins called me because a new witch had dropped a house on the Wicked Witch of the East. And there's the house, and here you are, and that's all. The Wicked Witch of the East's feet protruding from under the farmhouse. That's left of the Wicked Witch of the East. And so, what the Munchkins want to know is, are you a good witch or a bad witch? But I've already told you, I'm not a witch at all. Witches are old and ugly. <laughs> What's that? That was the Munchkins. They're laughing because I'm a witch. I'm Glinda, the Witch of the North. You are? Oh, I beg your pardon. Well, I've never heard of a beautiful witch before. Only bad witches are ugly. The Munchkins are happy because you have freed them from the Wicked Witch of the East. Oh, but if you please, what are munchkins? Why, they are the little people who live in this land. It's munchkin land. And you are their national heroine, my dear. It's all right. You may all come out and thank her now. Come on. It's all right. Come out, come out, wherever you are. And meet the young lady who fell from a star. She fell from the sky, she fell very far. And Kansas, she says, is the name of the star. Kansas, she said, is the name of the star. It brings you good news, or haven't you heard? When she fell out of Kansas, a miracle occurred. It really was no miracle. What happened was just this. The wind began to switch, the house to pitch, and suddenly the hinges started to unhitch. And then the witch, to satisfy an itch, went flying on her broomstick, thumbing for a hitch. And oh, what happened then was rich. The house began to pitch, the kitchen took a slitch, it landed on the wicked witch in the middle of a ditch, which was not a healthy situation for the wicked witch who began to twitch and was reduced to just a stitch of what was once the wicked witch. We thank you very sweetly for doing it so neatly, for killing her completely. Oh, we thank you very sweetly. Let the joyous news be spread. The wicked old witch is at last dead. As mayor of the Munchkin City in the land of the County of Oz, I welcome you most regally. But we've got to verify it legally to see. To see. If she. If she. Is morally, ethically. Spiritually, physically. Positively, absolutely. Undeniably and reliably dead. Then this is a day of independence for all the Munchkins and their descendants. If any. Yes, let the joyous news be spread. The wicked old witch at last is dead.
song, You'll Be History. You'll be his. You'll be his. You'll be history. All of a sudden, the Wicked Witch flies by on a bicycle. I thought you said she was dead. That was your sister, the Wicked Witch of the East. This is the Wicked Witch of the West, and she's worse by far than the other one. The Wicked Witch turns away from the farmhouse. She goes to Dorothy and Glinda. The munchkins are prostrate on the ground. The witch speaks to Glinda and to Dorothy. Who killed my sister? Who killed the witch of the east? Was it you? Answer me. You leave her alone. You stay out of this. I'm here for vengeance. So it was you, wasn't it? You killed her, didn't you? No, 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 no. It was an accident. I didn't mean to kill anybody. Really, I didn't. Didn't mean it, eh? Accident, eh? Well, my little pretty, I can cause accidents too. And this is how I do it. Aren't you forgetting the ruby slippers? The slippers. Yes, the slippers. Suddenly, the ruby slippers disappear and the stockings are drawn back under the house. The witch reacts, looks down, and then turns and looks up irate. They're gone! Glinda points down to Dorothy's feet. The ruby slippers, what have you done with them? Give them back to me, or I'll... It's too late. There they are, and there they'll stay. Oh, give me back my slippers. I'm the only one who knows how to use them. They're of no use to you. Give them back to me. Give them back. You keep inside of them, Dorothy. And their magic must be very powerful, or she wouldn't want them so badly. The witch rises threatens Dorothy. Glinda laughs, speaks. The witch reacts, looks up, and continues to threaten Dorothy. You stay out of this, Glinda, or I'll fix you as well. Oh, rubbish. You have no power here. Be gone before somebody drops a house on you, too. Very well. I'll bide my time. And as for you, my fine lady, it's true. I can't attend you here for now, as I'd like. But just try to stop me. Just try to get out of my way. Just try. I'll get you, my pretty. And your little dog, too. <laughs> the witch backs away from Dorothy and Glinda as she laughs menacingly. The munchkins hug the ground with fear. The witch disappears in a cloud of fire and smoke. It's all right. It's all right. You can come out. She's gone. Pooh! What a smell of sulfur. I'm afraid you've made a rather bad enemy of the Wicked Witch of the West. The sooner you get out of Oz altogether, the safer you'll sleep, my dear. Oh, I'd give anything to get out of Oz altogether. But which is the way back to Kansas? I can't go the way I came. No, that's true. The only person who might know would be the great and wonderful Wizard of Oz himself. The Wizard of Oz? Is he good or is he wicked? Oh, he's very good, but very mysterious. He lives in the Emerald City, and that's a long journey from here. Did you bring your broomstick with you? <laughs> no, I'm afraid I didn't. Well, then you'll have to walk. The Munchkins will see you to the border of Munchkin Land. And remember, never let those ruby slippers off your feet for one moment, or you will be at the mercy of the Wicked Witch of the West. But how do I start for Emerald City? It's always best to start at the beginning. And all you do is follow the yellow brick road. But, but what happens if I... Just follow the yellow brick road. Linda disappears into her bubble and floats away. My, people come and go here very quickly. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road? Follow the yellow brick road. Yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick, follow the yellow brick, follow the yellow brick road. You're up to see the wizards, the wonderful wizard of Oz. You can be a wizard of a wizard of Oz. If ever a wizard of a wizard of Oz.
Dorothy and Toto come forward along the road. She pauses in the center of the road and looks about. Follow the yellow brick road? Follow the yellow... Now, which way do we go? Dorothy is standing in the center of the road. A scarecrow on a pole is in the cornfield at the right. He speaks, points to the right. Dorothy whirls around and looks at him. That way is a very nice way. The scarecrow stands with his arms pointing to the right. Who said that? Toto barks at the scarecrow. Don't be silly, Toto. It's pleasant down that way, too. Don't talk. That's funny. Wasn't he pointing the other way? Of course, people do. Scarecrow crosses his arms and points in both directions. Go both ways. Why, did you say something, didn't you? Scarecrow shakes his head and then nods. Are you doing that on purpose, or can't you make up your mind? Oh, that's the trouble. I can't make up my mind. I haven't got any brains. Only straw. How can you talk if you haven't got a brain? I don't know, but some people without brains do an awful lot of talking, don't they? Well, yes, I guess you're right. Well, we haven't really met properly, have we? Why, no. How do you do? How do you do? Very well, thank you. Oh, I'm not feeling very well at all. You see, it's very tedious being stuck up here all day long with a pole up your back. Oh dear, that must be terribly uncomfortable. Can I get you down? Down? No. You see, I'm, well, I'm... Uh, oh well, here, here, let me help you. Uh, that's very kind of you, very kind. Well, oh dear, I, I don't quite see, well, how I can... Of course, I'm not bright about doing things, but if you'll just bend the nail down in the back, maybe I'll slip off and... Oh. oh. Dorothy turns the nail and the scarecrow falls to the ground. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> there goes some of me again. Oh, does it hurt you? Uh, no, I just keep picking it up and putting it back in again. Oh. My, it's good to be... Dorothy screams as the scarecrow whirls around and falls over the corn fence. Oh! Um, she rushes to him. She kneels beside him and they speak. Did I scare you? No, no, I, I just thought you hurt yourself. But I didn't scare you? No, of course not. Oh, I didn't think so. Boo. You see, I can't even scare a crow. They come from miles around just to eat in my field and laugh in my face. Oh, I'm a failure because I haven't got a brain. Well, what would you do with a brain if you had one? Do? Why, if I had a brain? I could while away the hours, conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. And my head, I'd be scratching while my thoughts were busy hatching if I only had a brain. Wonderful. Why, if our scarecrow back in Kansas could do that, the crows would be scared to pieces. <laughs> they would? Uh-huh. Where's Kansas? That's where I live, and I want to get back there so badly. I'm going all the way to Emerald City to get the Wizard of Oz to help me. You're going to see a wizard? Uh-huh. Do you think if I went with you, this wizard would give me some brains? I couldn't say, but even if he didn't, you'd be no worse off than you are now. Yes. That's true. But maybe you'd better not. I've got a, a witch mad at me, and you might get into trouble. A witch? Huh. Well, I'm not afraid of a witch. I'm not afraid of anything. Except a lighted match. Ooh, I don't blame you for that. Oh, but I'd face a whole box full of them for a chance of getting some brains. Look, I won't be any trouble because I don't need a thing. And I won't try to manage things because 
I can't think. Won't you take me with you? Why, of course I will. <laughs> Hooray! We're off to see a wizard. The scarecrow trips over himself and falls, losing part of his arm. Oh, well, you're, you're not starting out very well. <laughs> oh, I'll try. Really, I will. To Oz? To Oz. As they walked away, Dorothy notices something in the woods off to her right. Oh, why, it's a man. A man made out of tin. What? Yes. Oh, look. Oil can. Oil can. Did you say something? Oil can. Oil can what? Oil can? Oh, 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 here it is. Uh, where do you want me to uh, put the oil first? My mouth. My mouth. He said his mouth. Here. Here. The other side. Yes, uh, there. Mm -hmm. My goodness, I can talk again. Uh, oil my arms, please. Uh, oil my elbows. Oh. Oh. Oh, did that hurt? No, it feels wonderful. I've held that axe up for ages. Oh. Oh, goodness. How did you ever get like this? Oh, well, about a year ago, I was chopping that tree, minding my own business, when suddenly it started to rain, and right in the middle of a chop, I rusted solid. And I've been that way ever since. Well, you're perfect now. My neck. My neck. Perfect? Bang on my chest to see if you think I'm perfect. Go ahead, bang on it. Oh. Beautiful. What an echo. It's empty. The tinsmith forgot to give me a heart. And a man's an empty kettle. He should be on his metal. And yet I'm torn apart. Just because I'm presuming that I could be kind of human if I only had a heart. Suddenly the witch is standing on the roof of Tin Man's cottage. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, are you all right? I'm afraid I'm a little rusty yet. Oh, dear. That was wonderful. You know, we were just wondering why you couldn't come to the Emerald City with us and ask the Wizard of Oz for a heart. Emerald City? Why, that's a long and dangerous journey. And it might rain on the way. But you've just been saying how much you want a heart. And I'll keep the oil can handy. Well, suppose the wizard wouldn't get me one once we got there. Oh, but he will. He must. We've come such a long way already. You call that long? Why, you've just begun. Forgotten about me, eh? Well, I haven't forgotten about you. Helping the little lady along, are you, my fine gentleman? Well, stay away from her, or I'll stuff a mattress with you. And you, I'll use you for a beehive. The witch throws a ball of fire. Here, want to play ball? And as for you, my little Dorothy, I wish you luck with the Wizard of Oz. And happy journey back to Kansas. <laughs> the witch laughs and sits on her broomstick in a position to fly away. Smoke fills the sky, obscuring her from sight. I'm not afraid of her. I'll see you get safely to the wizard now, whether I get a brain or not. Stuff a mattress with me. Ha! I'll see you reach the wizard, whether I get a heart or not. Beehive, bah! Let her try and make a beehive out of me. You know, hmm, what's that? Oh, goodness, did any of them sting you? Uh, I guess they tried to, but they bent their stingers. Oh, dear, I don't know what I'd do if a whole swarm kept, oh, 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 there's one on my arm, on me. Oh, I'll get it, I'll get it. <sighs> Oh, see, I, I killed it. Oh, I killed that poor little bee. It's only a man without a heart that could do a thing like that. Poor little bee. Oh, there, there. Don't cry. 
there as a matter of fact that's just an old drone bee and it would have died anyway yeah yeah you put it out of its misery oh well it's just the witch is so wicked i i don't think you two ought to come with me because you'll get into trouble Oh, you don't think we're going to stand by and let her get away with fireballs and bees, do you? No, sir. No, sir. Oh, you're the best friends anybody ever had. And it's funny, but I feel as if I've known you all the time. But I couldn't have, could I? I don't see how. You weren't around when I was stuffed and sewn together, were you? And I was standing over there rusting for the longest time. Still, I wish I could remember, but I guess it doesn't matter anyway. We know each other now, don't we? That's right. We do. To Oz? To Oz! I don't like this forest. It's dark and creepy. Of course, I don't know, but I think it'll get darker before it gets lighter. Do, do you suppose we'll meet any wild animals? We might. Oh! Animals that, that eat straw? Some, but mostly lions and tigers and bears. Lions? And tigers? And bears. Oh! Lions and tigers and bears. Dorothy and friends walk forward along the brick road. They react to growl. <laughs> oh my! Lions and tigers and bears, oh my! Lions and tigers and bears, oh my! Lions and tigers and bears! What sort of an animal is that? It's a, a huge one. Uh, don't, 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 don't be frightened. I'll, I'll protect you. Oh, look! The lion takes two great leaps, lands on the brick road. Tin Man and Scarecrow fall at side of road. Dorothy hides behind tree. Put him, uh, put him, uh, which one of you first? I'll fight you together if you want. I'll fight you with one paw tied behind my back. I'll fight you standing on one foot. I'll fight you with my eyes closed. There, pulling an axe on me, eh? There, sneaking up on me, eh? Here, here, go away, let us alone. Oh, scared, huh? Afraid, huh? How long do you stay fresh in that can? Come on, get up and fight, you shivering junkyard. Put your hands up, you lopsided bag of hay. Now that's getting personal, Lion. Yes, get up and teach him a lesson. Well, what's, what's wrong with you teaching him? Well, well, I, I hardly know him. Toto starts barking. <laughs> I'll get you. I'll get you anyway, Pee Wee. Toto runs into the shrubs. Lion starts after him. Dorothy picks up Toto, comes forward over to Scarecrow and Tin Man. Lion starts for Toto. Dorothy slaps his hand. He backs away, crying. Shame on you! Oh, what what are you going to do that for? I wasn't going to bite him. No, but you tried to. It's bad Wait. enough picking on a straw man, but when you go around picking on poor little dogs... Well, you didn't have to go and hit me, did you? Is my nose bleeding? Well, of course not. My goodness, what a fuss you're making. Well, naturally, when you go around picking on things weaker than you are, why, you're nothing but a big coward. You're right. I am a coward. I haven't had any of my own courage at all. I haven't scared myself. Look at the circles under my eyes. I haven't slept in weeks. Why don't you try counting sheep? That doesn't help nothing. I'm scared of them. Oh, that's too bad. Don't you think the wizard could help him too? Well, I don't see why not. Why don't you come along with us? We're on our way to see the wizard now, to get him a heart. And him a brain. Well, I'm sure he could give you some courage. Well, wouldn't you feel degraded to be seen in the company of a cowardly lion? No, of course not. Gee, that's, that's awfully nice of you. The witch is watching all of this through her magic crystal. The images of Tin Man, Lion, Scarecrow, and Dorothy in crystal as they march along arm in arm. 
<laughs> she mixes poison. She holds poison over the crystal, waves her hands over it. The images of the group fade out. Poppy fields fade in. <laughs> so, you won't take a warning, eh? All the worse for you, then. I'll take care of you now instead of later. <laughs> when I gain those ruby slippers, my power will be the greatest in Oz. And now, my beauties, something with poison in it, I think. Poison in it, but attractive. Ah! Poppies! Poppies! Poison poppies! <laughs> it's sad, believe me, Missy, when you're born to be a sissy without the feminine five. But I could show my prowess, be a lion, not a mouse, if I only had the nerve. Well, they've made it to the Emerald City and to the Wizard's Tin Castle. Dorothy and her friends begin to walk down a very long, dark corridor. There are no doors on either side, no windows to let in the light. Now, wait a minute, fellas. I was just thinking, I really don't want to see the wizard all that much. I better wait for you outside. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, he's just as scared again. Don't you know the wizard's going to give you some courage? I'd be too scared to ask him for it. Well, then we'll ask him for you. I'd sooner wait outside. But why? Why? Because I'm still scared. Oh, come on. Oh! What happened? Somebody pulled my tail. Oh, you did it yourself. I... Oh. Here, come on. What was that? Our echo. What was that? That, that. Our echo. Echo, echo. Oh, come on, come on. We'll soon find the wizard. The wizard. The wizard. The great and powerful Wizard of Oz. The great Wizard of Oz. Come forward. Tell me when it's over. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I want to go home. I want to go home. I am Oz, the great and powerful. Who are you? Who are you? Uh, I, I, if you please, I... I am Dorothy, the small and meek, and we've come to ask you... Silence! Oh, Jiminy Crickets! The great and powerful Oz knows why you have come. Step forward, head man. Oh, it's me. You dare to come to me for a heart, do you? You uh, clinking, clanking, clattering collection of collisionists, jump. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, you see, uh, while we were a while back, we were walking down the yellow brick road and... and, and... Quiet! Uh... And you, Scarecrow, have the refrigery to ask for a brain? You billowing male of moving motor. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, Your Honor. I, I mean, Your Excellency. I, I mean, Your Wizardry. Enough! And you, lion! Oh. 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 You ought to be ashamed of yourself, frightening him like that, when he's come to you for help. Silence, whippersnapper! The beneficent arm has every intention of granting your request. What? What was that? What, what did you say? Oh, oh, come on! What, is, uh, what, what did he say? But first, you must prove yourself worthy by performing a very small task. Bring me the broomstick of the witch of the west. But, 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 uh, if we do that, we'll have to kill her to get it. Bring me her broomstick, and I'll grant you your request. Now go! But what if we have to kill? What if she kills us first? I said go! So the wizard has declined their wishes until they bring him the broomstick of the Wicked Witch of the West. 
Daunted but determined, Dorothy, Scarecrow, and Lion, and Tin Men set off again. The witch sends winged monkeys to attack Dorothy's party before they reach the castle. The monkeys snatch Dorothy and Toto and scatter the others. When the witch finds that the ruby slippers can't be taken against Dorothy's will as long as the girl is alive, she turns her hourglass and threatens that Dorothy will die when it runs out. Meanwhile, Toto has escaped and run for help. Dressed as guardsmen, the lion, the tin man, and the scarecrow sneak into the castle and free Dorothy. But they're discovered before they can escape. And the witch and her guards corner them and set the scarecrow on fire. Dorothy douses him with a pail of water, splashing the witch by accident. The water causes the witch to disintegrate. Go, we'll see the first three go before her. <laughs> And your mangy little dog, too. How about a little fire, Scarecrow? Oh. 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 are happy to let Dorothy have the witch's broomstick and Dorothy and her friends return to the Emerald City. The wizard isn't pleased to see them again. He blusters and Toto pulls aside the curtain in the corner of the audience chamber to reveal an old man who resembles Professor Marvel, pulling levers and speaking into a microphone. The so-called wizard, as the scarecrow says, is a humbug. He's abashed and apologetic, and it doesn't take him long to find ways to help Dorothy and her friends. There is a diploma for the scarecrow, a medal of valor for the lion, and a heart-shaped watch for the tin man. Then he reveals that he is also from Kansas, he came to Oz in a hot air balloon, in which he proposes to take Dorothy home. The wizard appoints the scarecrow, tin man, and the lion as rulers of Oz in his absence. Just as the balloon is about to take off, Toto runs after a cat and Dorothy follows him. Unable to stop, the wizard leaves without Dorothy. Glinda appears and explains that Dorothy has always had the power to get home. Glinda didn't tell her before because Dorothy wouldn't have believed it. Bidding her friends a tearful goodbye, Dorothy taps her heels together three times and repeats. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home and the ruby slippers take her and Toto back to Kansas, where she wakes up in her very own bed with Auntie M and Uncle Henry fussing over her. She raises indulgent laughter when she tells them about Oz, but she's so happy to be home that she doesn't mind that they don't believe her.